hoy gozamos del privilegio de tener a la chef Sadana Berko de The Ravens para mostrarnos cómo preparar el colorido, delicioso y nutritivo Napoleón de coliflor asada, uno de los platos veganos más populares del restaurante. Así que sentémonos, relajémonos y disfrutemos este programa. Hi guys, I'm Chef Sadna. I'm here at the Ravens restaurant from the Stanford Inn by the Sea. And today we're going to make a beautiful dish called cauliflower stack. It's also referred to as a cauliflower Napoleon. So we will be roasting a variety of different vegetables, some from our gardens here, and also um, preparing a vegan shiitake bacon that's made from shiitake mushrooms and um, a beautiful green sauce with kale and cilantro. So we're gonna go ahead and get started today. Um, the primary focus of this dish is the cauliflower. The best way to cut the cauliflower is to actually make a stable surface on the cauliflower. So we're just going to take a little notch off there, not too much. Go ahead and save this because it's edible and we'll throw it right on the pan for roasting. Um, and then we're gonna shave off just a little bit of this cauliflower right here so that it sits really nicely on your pan. I like to go with my knife and just go down just a tiny bit and then mark it again right here. And then ideally we're going to cut this and it's going to look like a slab of cauliflower. So I'm going to go straight down really gently but firmly pressing. And voila! And then that second score, I'm gonna go straight down, a little zigzag motion like this, rocking it back and forth. And then again, straight down. And there we go, beautiful. Sometimes you end up with four, but today we have three pieces. And this is a beautiful way to roast a cauliflower and create it as an entree. Uh, we will be preparing first the cauliflower. We're going to season it really lightly. We like to do very low oil because it's healthier. What we're going to use is a little spray canola oil. This is also a higher heat oil, so it is more stable when you're cooking at higher temperatures. So I'm just gonna give it a light mist here, and then we're gonna turn it over as well. I also removed, um, some of the leaves there because they can burn, but you can leave that stem part in because that will help keep the cauliflower together. So I'll just sprinkle about a quarter teaspoon of salt on there and give it a nice rub. And then again, we're gonna turn it over and just a little more salt here, but don't go overboard. It's just salt to taste, which ends up being about no more than a half a teaspoon for all of this cauliflower. So I'm going to put a little fresh ground pepper Right on top. Beautiful. And when you have that oil on there, it helps the spices stick on there. So that's another reason. And um, having a little bit of oil will help the cauliflower brown and crisp up in the oven. So I'm going to put this in the oven at about 375 degrees, and we're gonna roast it for 15 minutes. Great, we've got 15 more minutes to prepare some other vegetables. And the idea here is to create a really beautiful stack um, of colors and things that are in season. So I went to the garden and it looks like we have some sweet potato, some zucchini, um, red onion, and bell pepper. So again, to season these guys, we're gonna use some of our canola oil. And this is gonna allow our salt and pepper or any other seasonings that we use um, to stick to that. Okay, there we go. Wow, these colors are just so beautiful. Okay, so a really light mist there. And if you were to put that, you know, it would probably be only like a quarter teaspoon of oil for all of those vegetables. Another thing about this recipe is that it's whole foods. And so we're taking that individual pepper, um, that zucchini and the red onion and sweet potato, and we're roasting them up whole and we're minimally processing them. And we're just lightly cooking them um, so that they still have some vitality in there. When the vitality remains in the vegetables, we gain all those nutrients from them, and in turn, we are in better health. Um, so my salt and pepper over here, the higher that you sprinkle, the more even the salt gets on your vegetables. And then we'll turn that over, but it's looking really good. Okay, they're all nice and seasoned. Beautiful. Okay, 
So these are ready to go in the oven and we'll cook them at the same temperature, 375 for about 10 to 20 minutes, depending on how hard the vegetable are. These um, zucchinis and bell peppers will probably take between 10 and 15, whereas the onions and the sweet potatoes are a little harder and they'll take about 20 minutes in the oven. In about 15 minutes, so we're gonna go in the oven and check on our cauliflower first. Oh, beautiful. So do you see how that roasted up really nicely here? And it looks like there's a little bit of browning on the edges. You could use a fork or you could use a toothpick is just go in and see if it's really nice and soft. And it is, it's perfect. Great, so I see here that it's really starting to brown. And I see also it's starting to brown in the middle here. And the zucchini actually takes a little less time than everything else, so those are gonna be perfect. And last, I'm gonna check on the sweet potatoes. What you're looking for here is um, even amount of browning. So go ahead and use your knife or a fork and just make sure that they're soft. They're soft. All right, perfect. Sometimes depending on the seasonality and what type of season you have where you're living, it's nice to use a fresh element in the dish. So today we're going to use tomatoes. We wanna to create a flat surface and we wanna make some rounds. And we wanna cut it about between a half and three quarters of an inch. And then we're gonna place those um, tomatoes in the refrigerator and we're going to serve them on the dish raw. Next, we're going to make vegan shiitake bacon to garnish on top of your dish. And you can use any type of mushroom, but the shiitake mushrooms, they have a really nice flavor to them. And it's a lot of umami flavor going on. In this area near the Ravens, we have a lot of chanterelle mushrooms and um, porcinis. They work as well. They don't get the same flavor and they're not quite as crisp. So today we're gonna work with the shiitakes, which actually have been grown locally. The shiitakes come like this in all different sizes, but there's a woody stem. And what we wanna do is we wanna remove that stem because it doesn't crisp up the same as the cap does. And you can pull it right off, but it comes off cleaner when you cut it. But don't throw these away because they're worthwhile saving and putting in a stock. In the kitchen, sometimes to be more efficient, we'll stack the shiitake mushrooms and we'll slice them like this. And this vegan shiitake bacon is um, something that can be used in different sorts of dishes. We put it on top of um, macaroni and cheese. We also put it on top of pizzas and salads. So I've sliced those shiitakes really nice and thin. And we're gonna spray them just so they have a nice coat. And then give them a little toss back and forth. And toss them up. And then one more spray. Because we want these to get crisp, we want a little bit of that oil on there. Again, we want it to be a little on the salty side. About a quarter teaspoon on there for about six mushrooms. Um, the other thing that we have is some smoked paprika. This one, oh, it smells so good and smoky. I'm gonna put a generous amount of this smoked paprika on the shiitakes. And this is really gonna transform it from being just a plain shiitake mushroom into a beautiful vegan shiitake bacon. Do you see how there's a little bit of red on each little piece of shiitake? That's exactly what you wanna see. And if it's not sticking well enough, you know you need just a little bit more spray oil. Now we wanna place them nice and pretty again. And they don't have to be perfect. Okay, beautiful. This one's a little lower. So we wanna put this in the oven at 350 degrees because at high temperatures, the shiitakes can burn. We want this to stay in the oven for 15 to 20 minutes until they get nice and crisp. And so you wanna check it at about 10 minutes, give it a little shake like that, and sometimes even turn them over with a spatula. Para más información sobre The Stanford Inn by the Sea, Eco Resort y el restaurante vegano The Ravens, visiten stanfordin.com y ravenrestaurant.com